On the night before he died, Jesus humbly washed the feet of his disciples and so taught us how to love. Then he gave us the Eucharist that we might find the strength to love as he did. Thank you for praying with us this holy night. We offer a special welcome to the boys and girls who are preparing for First Communion. We pray that you will stay close to Jesus all of your lives. Tomorrow, Good Friday, we will offer the Stations of the Cross at noon, and our main service will begin at 7 p.m. Both services will be both online and in person. On Holy Saturday, we celebrate our main Easter Mass, the 7.30 Easter Vigil. Then, on Easter Sunday, we have our regular Sunday schedule with Masses at 7.30, 9.30, and 11.30. To pray Easter Mass online, you can join us beginning at 8 on Holy Saturday night. Our Easter Mass will be from then on. Tonight, we remember that we have been invited to this holy table by God who welcomes sinners and transforms us. Our Gospel question is threefold. What have you lost this year? What have you received? Where have you served? What have you lost this year? What have you received? And where have you served? If no one is near you right now, please know that we are with you in spirit. If anyone is near you right now, please offer them some sign of your love. the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. It is indeed a holy night. And all over the world, God's children gather, whatever their race or language or way of life, to remember this night when Jesus washed the feet of his disciples commanded us to serve as he did, then gave us the Eucharist to strengthen us for that call. To begin, we will bring in the oils that we will use throughout the year. The oils are blessed by the bishop in big containers at the cathedral, then given to each of the churches in smaller units. They'll be kept in our ambry by the baptismal font, to be used for prayer. Our first oil is the oil of the catechumenate. It's brought forward by Jeremy Luthauser, one of our catechumens. Jeremy will be baptized on Holy Saturday night. Jeremy will go all the way underwater. O God of new life, through baptism, your children, as infants or as adults, 
Enter into your dying, that we might also rise with you to live with you forever. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. The oil of chrism is used in baptism, for confirmation, and for holy orders. It is brought forward by Ashlyn Davis, one of our eighth graders confirmed in February. Through confirmation, you strengthen your children for our call to love, to bear your presence in this world. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have mercy. The oil of the sick is used in the sacrament of the anointing of the sick. It is brought forward by Kathy Brown, who has been fighting cancer again. And Kathy, if I might, I will, on behalf of all of us, anoint you now. Through this holy anointing, may the Lord, in his love and mercy, help you with the grace of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Now anoint you in the palms of the hands. May the Lord, who frees you from sin, save you and raise you up. Amen. O oh God, through these oils, you heal your children. You sustain us for the letting goes of life. And you prepare a place for us in life beyond what we can see. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. you 
let us pray first for a moment in the quiet of our hearts. O oh God, who have called us to participate in this most sacred supper in which your only begotten Son went about to hand himself over to death, entrusted to the church a sacrifice new for all eternity, the banquet of his love. Grant, we pray, that we may draw from so great a mystery the fullness of charity and of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, this month shall stand at the head of your calendar. You shall reckon it the first month of the year. Tell the whole community of Israel, on the 10th of this month, every one of your families must procure for itself a lamb, one apiece for each household. If a family is too small for a whole lamb, it shall join the nearest household in procuring one and shall share in the lamb in proportion to the number of persons who partake of it. The lamb must be a year old male and without blemish. You may take it from either the sheep or the goats. You shall keep it under the 14th day of this month and then with the whole assembly of Israel present, it shall be slaughtered during the evening twilight. They shall take some of its blood and apply it to the two doorposts and the lentil of every household in which they partake of the lamb. That same night, they shall eat its roasted flesh with unleavened bread and bitter herbs. This is how you are to eat it, with your loin skirt, sandals on your feet, and your staff in your hand. You shall eat like those who are in flight. It is the Passover of our Lord. For on this same night, I will go through Egypt, striking down every firstborn of the land, both man and beast, and executing judgment on all the gods of Egypt, I the Lord. But the blood will mark the houses where you are, Seeing the blood, I will pass over you. Thus, when I strike the land of Egypt, no destructive blood will, blow will come over you. This day shall be a memorial feast for you, which all your generations shall celebrate with pilgrimage to the Lord as a perpetual institution. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to be God. To God.
A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, I received from the Lord what I also handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night he was handed over, took bread, and after he had given thanks, broke it and said, this is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way also the cup, after supper, saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the death of the Lord until he comes. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. This evening we have a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to, to you, you, O Lord. Lord. Before the feast of Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to pass from this world to the Father. He loved his own in this world, and he loved them to the end. The devil had already induced Judas, son of Simon the Iscariot, to hand him over. So during supper, fully aware that the Father had put everything into his power, that he had come from God, was returning to God, he rose from supper and took off his outer garments. He took a towel and tied it around his waist. Then he poured water into a basin, began to wash the feet of the disciples and dry them with a towel around his waist. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Master, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered and said to him, What I am doing you do not understand now, but you will understand it later. Peter said to him, you will never wash my feet. Jesus answered him, Unless I wash you, you will have no inheritance with me. Simon Peter said to him, Master, then not only my feet, but my hands and head as well. Jesus said to him, Whoever is bathed has no need except to have his feet washed. For he is clean all over, so you are clean, but not all. For he knew who would betray him. For this reason he said, not all of you are clean. So when he had washed their feet and put his garments back on and reclined a table again, he said to them, do you realize what I have done 
for you. You call me teacher and master, and rightly so, for indeed I am. If I, therefore, the master and teacher, have washed your feet, you are to wash one another's feet. I have given you a model to follow, so that as I have done for you, you should also do. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Tonight there are three chairs where normally there are none. Let me say a word about them now. This year, we've all lost a lot, don't you think? What have you lost? How many birthdays, graduations, weddings, funerals were nothing like we thought they'd be? Countless people lost jobs. Hundreds of thousands of people in this country alone have lost loved ones. Two too many lost hope. For our psyches and our souls, we need, need to name our losses and to grieve them. The loss of the sense of safety has been traumatizing. Loneliness has taken a toll on many. And again this year, come Easter, many will find an empty place at their table. We've all lost a lot. What have you lost? This chair will symbolize the losses and letting goes of this year. At the same time, we've all received a lot this year, haven't we? I mean, what have you received? Some of it we've seen, some of it's been behind the scenes, we'll never notice, but the grocery store workers who were scared but just kept working, the first responders of every type, right? Nurses and firefighters and counselors and doctors, the people who kept our churches going, the nurses who served in ways that some of us will never know behind the scenes, the doctors, the scientists who worked so hard to create vaccines to help save us. We've all received a lot. Some of it was obvious to us. Some of it we never even saw. What have you received this year to help our psyches and our souls we do well to practice gratitude and not only to see our blessings but to savor them this chair will stand for all that we have received this year seen and unseen Joyce would you come forward now And a lot has been asked of us as well, hasn't there been? We've all been asked to care and help in ways we weren't before. Maybe you were that single mom who worked all day, then went home exhausted to homeschool your child. Maybe you've reached out to some who were in need of financial support or helped at the food pantry. Maybe you offered an extra kindness to a neighbor or someone who was shut in. Maybe you blogged or preached or prayed or cared in ways no one will ever even know to help us together move forward through this. Much has been asked of us this year. 
for our psyches and our souls, we need to hear the call to serve. What has been called forth from you this year? This chair will stand for that. Carrie, would you come forward now? Carrie, I will address you first. You are a nurse, and you serve in the ICU, and you were there when the hospital was overrun with COVID patients. And from what little bit I know, it was awful. You saw stuff no one should ever have to see. You had to decide stuff no one should ever have to decide. And I know that almost every night, you went home exhausted and defeated and got in the shower and cried. Tonight, we wash your feet to say thank you. To say thank you for what you have absorbed for us. And through you, we honor all those who serve. especially those in the medical community. Thank you, Carrie. Thank you for what you have done that no one will ever know. Thank you. Joyce, when Mark got COVID, you were so worried about him. You couldn't even visit him. Your husband, you just loved him from afar. And then you got it pretty bad. And you weren't even sure you would be okay. And I know it probably wasn't Carrie, but both of you received a lot of care, did you not? And I'm so glad you came through. I know you've got a bit still to wrestle with. But I know that both you and your husband have hearts that have always cared for others. This time, I'm glad you could receive. And now we'd like to wash your feet as a sign of the difference that it makes when people care and reach out to serve. And I know that both of you continue to pray for everyone for whom these days are so hard. And I invite you for just a moment to both look at this chair, because I know you have both lost a lot and suffered, and it's been hard. This chair which reminds us of all of those who've paid such a price and when these days have been so hard. And for just a moment, I invite you to look both at each other. You both received. You both are continued to be called to serve this world and to wash feet. Thank you for being here this night. We send you forth now. It was the night before he died that Jesus washed the feet of his disciples. He continues to do that now through so many good and humble and sim simple, imperfect people who just do what is needed for love. This chair will remain here empty as we pray tonight. Its emptiness will hopefully speaks to us 
of, to some of the countless losses of this year. May it also remind us of the times we've sat here and received the love of others, that our feet have been washed in ways seen and unseen, we've all been blessed. And finally, may this chair be a reminder to each of us of all those who still need our love. Near or far, those that Jesus counts on us to serve, whose feet we are to wash. For after the example of his life, and at his command, we too are to be washers of feet. Trusting that God always hears us whenever we call out. Let's offer now some of our intercessions and prayers. We pray first for the church, O Lord. Help us to see you, O God, especially in the lowly and poor whose feet we are called to wash. We pray for the men, women, and children who will be baptized or received into our church on Saturday night. May they be humble, washers of feet. We pray to the Lord. Please, dear God, help us truly see those who are vulnerable in any way. People who are in prisons, the aged, the unborn, the disabled, the immigrant, the hungry. Soften our hearts to see and love as Jesus did. Teach us to love the Eucharist, dear Jesus, whenever we gather in cathedrals or in living rooms. May we find the strength we need to act justly and to love tenderly. We pray for the lonely, the sick, the brokenhearted, and all those suffering in any way. May they find a home in the love and support of your church family. Trust, O oh God, that you do hear our prayers, spoken and unspoken. Help us to hear you. We pray in faith through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Amen.
pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours might be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these mysteries. For whenever the memorial of the sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, we lift them up, up to the Lord. Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he is the true and eternal priest who instituted the pattern of an everlasting sacrifice and was the first to offer himself as a saving victim, commanding us to make this offering as his memorial. As we eat his flesh that was sacrificed, we are made strong. And as we drink his blood that was poured for us, we are washed clean. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. <laughs> Fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring it to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Mitchell, our Archbishop, with all the bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers, sisters, relatives, friends who've fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. 
Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. As we pray the Lord's Prayer now, let us remember our unity. Certainly, with the people that we see now, with people we've never met all over the world, it's as one family we together pray. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. And graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. Let's hold this world in peace the peace it so desperately needs. And if there's anyone near you now, please offer them some sign of your love. To the boys and girls who are preparing First Communion, and to the grown-ups as well, it was this night that Jesus took bread and blessed it and said, it's my body, and do this in memory of me, my body broken for you, I said, and this cup is my blood shed for you. He gives us himself as our food to help us be like him. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, 
but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you more than anything in the world, and I hunger to receive you. But since I cannot receive communion at this moment, feed my soul, at least spiritually. I unite myself to you now, as I do when I actually receive you. Amen. Amen. As announced, we'll have uh, Stations of the Cross tomorrow, Good Friday at noon, both in person and online, and our main Good Friday service at 7 p.m., again, both online and in person. And we look forward to continuing to pray with you. As mentioned, for Easter, we'll have our main Mass Saturday at 7.30 p.m., and yes, it does count for Sunday or more accurately, Sunday counts for it. It's the main Mass. On Easter Sunday, our in-person Masses are at 7.30, 9.30, 11.30. If we reach safe capacity in church, we'll direct people to Father Dowling Hall. If we reach safe capacity there, we'll direct people to the gym. And as mentioned, the online Masses for Easter, for Mass for Easter will begin at 8 p.m. on Holy Saturday night and remain there following for whenever it's good for you to pray. In just a moment, Father Leo and I will process to the altar of repose for prayer throughout the evening. It's kind of reminiscent of the disciples going to the garden with Jesus to pray after the Last Supper when he said, can you watch and pray with me? We invite you, if you're watching at home, to have a, a place where you can spend a few moments in prayer, either with others or alone, maybe a table and a cloth and a candle. We'll have a little bit of extra music at the end of this Mass to even just linger here now. And certainly it is our prayer that what we did this night will, will help us be more like him. Let us pray. Grant, merciful Lord, that welcome to your table, we, your sons and daughters, might with hearts renewed love and serve as we have ourselves been loved and served. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please kneel.
Jesus.